Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Why aren't the Anzacs in Battlefield 1? Anzacs! That's been a question for many Battlefield 1 players in the wake of the new Cape Hellas and Achibaba maps hitting the game's community test environment. Looking at the character models, it's very clear the British medic is at least modeled after one of the uniform types worn by Anzac soldiers during the Gallipoli campaign. From the shorts to the slouch hat, it all screams Anzac, yet the faction is still referred to as British forces. So why is that? It turns out there are a number of reasons DICE may have gone this route. The first lies in the truly global nature of the First World War. While the campaign in the Dardanelles has largely been embraced as an Anzac campaign, it also included many soldiers from other nationalities. Among those fighting in the Dardanelles were 345,000 British, which included Indian, Irish, and Newfoundland regiments. Nearly 80,000 French also fought in that theater. Anzac forces totaled around 75,000. Now, I'm not downplaying Anzac contribution to the campaign at all, I'm just simply saying they didn't suffer alone. If DICE's intent was to be more inclusionary, I would have liked to have seen the addition of new character models based on the French, Irish, Indian, etc., or even perhaps a Maori. Another reason may be that the character voiceovers remain the same in the build on the CTE. I don't think many Australians or New Zealanders would appreciate an Anzac character talking with a London accent or the like. But the primary reason the Anzacs in Battlefield 1 aren't Anzacs is likely a legal one. Anzac is a protected word under Australian law. It turns out you can't use the word Anzac for commercial purposes without the express approval of the Australian Minister for Veterans Affairs. This might be a lengthy or convoluted process that developers just didn't want to tangle with. The stipulation goes all the way back to the protection of the word Anzac Act of 1920, and that's still in place today. That's there for a good reason. It's easy to forget when we're discussing a video game that such laws are in place because of the sacrifice of some very real people. Over 11,000 Anzacs died in the Gallipoli campaign. A hundred years later, none of those who fought on the beaches at Cape Hellas or the hills of Achibaba are around to tell us how they'd feel about the use of the name Anzacs in something as trivial as a video game. That's the reason the law exists and perhaps why DICE is using the somewhat generic faction title of British Forces. Of course, we also need to remember that what we're seeing here is on the Battlefield 1 CTE. It's an unfinished work in progress. Things will change between now and the release of the DLC, so perhaps there is a chance we'll see a proper Anzac faction. But I'm curious on the topic. I've noticed a lot of comments lately on the issue. So what are your thoughts on the topic? Do you think we need a true Anzac faction for the new maps? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on social media, and subscribe. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.